Can you get me twerking? Guys, let me just finish. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. You're Thank welcome. you for your light, your yeah. lighting assistance. Did it work at all? I think so. Yeah. 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 Quiet on the set. Okay. Une, deux, trois, come on. 20 seconds and we'll be out here. She's going as so long she's not in the reflection. Okay. We be out. We out here. Am I good? Here we go. <laughs> because, because I was thinking about the chocolate, I'm gonna eat. Chocolate musket. Chocolate musket. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously, two things. I'm not in my own house right now, I'm in my family's house, and I don't have my, my ring light with me, so you probably see the reflection of my sister right here. She's actually standing right there holding a lamp directly towards the camera so that you guys can kind of see my face a little bit brighter because it's dark in this kitchen. But anyway, today's video is going to be some DIY Halloween crafts. Um, most of them are edible and two of them are kind of just decorations for around the house. The reason that I was really excited to do this video, I know a lot of you guys requested one like the one I did last year, one for Halloween and one for Thanksgiving. Why are you making fun of me? The reason that this one is really special is because everything is from the dollar store. So I think I made four different treats and in total I made everything under $15. Melanie, stop posing back I there. love they the dollar store. They can't even see your face. I love the dollar store. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up really quick. Again, everything was from the dollar store. I made everything for under $15. Everything was simple, easy, fun, quick, great to do with kids. So if you guys wanna see the treats that I came out with for this year, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first treats that we're gonna make today are these little ghost lollipop guys. They are pretty basic, but they're so adorable I did not want to skip out. So what you're gonna need is Tootsie Roll lollipops, some napkins, and ribbon. My dollar store didn't have ribbon, so I just got this little witch's broom decoration that they had, and I just used the streamers right off of it. So what I'm gonna do is take my little lollipop, I'm going to wrap the napkin around it, now this is a little bit difficult for me, believe it or not, because my nails get in the way of everything, but all you're gonna do is just flatten the napkin around the lollipop until you get a pretty ghost looking shape. Shouldn't be too difficult. So once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and pull one of the streamers off of this broom decoration. And I'm gonna be using this to tie around the neck of the ghost. It's gonna help everything stay in place and if you wanna tie a little bow, you can go ahead and do that. But I kinda of like the undone looking feel of leaving it like this. So the very last thing that you're gonna do is draw a face on. And this one, I just did a simple little surprised ghost face. And here he is with the rest of his family. I think that they are so cute when you put them all together and they take seriously 20 seconds each to make. So you can definitely make a dozen of these. Simple, easy, and quick. All right, here is the next little treat. I don't know if these are cats or owls. I was going for cats, but you know what? They kind of ended up looking like owls. So all that you're gonna need is candy corn, M&Ms, Oreos, chocolate chips. My dollar store didn't have chocolate chips, so I got this trail mix and marshmallow cream. I also was looking for frosting, but they didn't have that, so the marshmallow cream was used in place of that, and it actually worked great. So I'm gonna take my Oreo and I'm just gonna lay everything out. So I actually used an edible marker to draw on little feline looking eyes. Then I picked out two chocolate chips for the ears and here I am cutting a candy corn into the shape of a little cat nose or an owl beak, whichever animal you're going for. Then I'm gonna whip out my marshmallow cream. I swear to you guys, this stuff is like super glue, edible super glue. I'm gonna take my knife and just use that to slather on that marshmallow cream. So I'm going to glue on my ears, the eyes. I'm gonna stick on the little cat nose. And here is the finished product. I think that they came out so cute. And look, this little guy in the end with the green eyes definitely looks like a cat, okay? The guy next to him maybe is looking a little bit more like an owl, but the green guy definitely looks like a cat. Next up, we got this little decoration right here, and these are little ghost leaves. So simple and cute, really, really easy to do. So all that you're gonna need for this craft is leaves from your backyard, a Sharpie, and white spray paint. 
So I went ahead and spray painted my leaves outside. I waited for the paint to dry for about 20 minutes, then I brought them in. And also I did use a glossy spray paint, but if you want a matte look, you can definitely use that instead. And then I just went ahead and drew on faces. This is so simple to do with your kids. You can do dozens and dozens of these and your kids will probably be a little bit more creative than me with the faces and not make them all look the same. But nonetheless, I thought this craft was absolutely adorable. So next we got this little gray graveyard pudding cup. Now I was missing a couple of things from my dollar store. I really wanted to get a little gummy worm to kind of stick out of the side and if not a gummy worm I wanted to find a little candy corn pumpkin but I couldn't find those but that's okay. We still made it work so all that you're gonna need is Oreos, some skull rings, your chocolate pudding, and I got these bag of bone Cheetos. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is crush up my Oreos. It's really helpful that these came in these little individual baggies because I was able to go ahead and crush them right in the bag and yes I am using my dad's uh, Bud Light can opener but anything around you will work so I'm gonna go ahead and pour that into the top of my pudding cup and then I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of flatten it all out from there I'm just gonna toss in my bones so I'm using this hand then I'm popping in a little skull another random bone and this is a place where I would go ahead and put in my little candy corn pumpkin or a gummy worm, but since we didn't have that, I just went ahead and grabbed another bone. This is another skull. I popped them in there and called it a day. Okay, so last up, this one is not really a tutorial on how to do this craft. I basically just had some leftover cardboard from also from the dollar store. I used it for the background of this video. So what I did is I just traced out a bat design and a ghost and I used them to be holders for my Hershey bars. Now, I don't know if you give out full size Hershey bars at your house on Halloween, maybe just for the special kids around your block. And I think that this would be a great idea to kind of make it a little bit more festive. Okay, so that is all of the little crafts and treats that I wanted to share with you in today's video. I think that they all came out great. And again, it's something that you should just have fun with. It definitely does not have to look perfect. You can see that my little crafts have a personality. They don't look like they came straight off a Pinterest page. So if you would like some more ideas, you can check out my video from last year where I did no bake. DIY Halloween treats. I will go ahead and post that video down below. And yes, my loves, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you would like to see some Thanksgiving and Christmas DIYs coming up next, and I will see you all soon. Mwah. Bye.